What's up, Dubai lads? Come watch us fight July 30th in Dubai at the Coca-Cola Arena. Check it out, you don't want to miss it. Okay, so uh, we're here with Adam Salah. My brother. How's your time been in Dubai so far? Oh, it's been amazing, it's been amazing. I love Dubai, man. Dubai is like my second home, honestly, seriously. Yeah. So you say it's been amazing, but we've seen by your YouTube channel that things are getting a bit heated in the hotel with your opponent. Yeah. Like, what happened there? Um, he's just a little, uh, he's a little chihuahua. His dog barks whenever he sees me. He, he gets in his fields and he starts talking a lot of... Anytime he sees me, he just starts talking and talking. So I, I'm, I, I'm 28, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm mature, you know, I'm not like someone who's gonna fight back or something like that. I'm waiting until July 30th, honestly, to, to show them, you know, in the ring. I'd rather show them in the ring. So, you say he talks a lot. Who's, who do you think is winning the mind games at the moment? Uh, I, I mean, I'm definitely winning if he's the one barking at me, yelling, trying to fight. You know, it, it seems like he's already lost. You know, to me, he's already lost. He's gonna come in all like riled up and stuff, which which I don't mind. You know, I'm, I'm not. It's easier for me to knock him out now. So we saw in the face to face that you guys did earlier in the week. One of the things that he said was that he's gonna give you brain damage, something nobody wants to see in boxing. Um, coming from a social media background and going into the boxing world, is this something that worries you? Um, doesn't worry me at all. His his power would not give me no brain damage. The only thing that that, that got me mad was in the face to face. He's, he, I don't know if I can curse him. Maybe. He was saying "f you." He said to my niece. You know, like I, I never said nothing about sister, newer stars. I showed nothing but love. I have respect for her. Even her, have, having her like on my shirt, I'm just a big fan of her. I love what she's doing. But with him saying, you know, "f you" to my niece, he's gonna pay the price on July. 3rd. I promise you, he's gonna pay the price. I, I didn't like. I, I was so close to slapping him, but I'm like, you know what? And my friend Slim slapped him so hard, literally slapped him in his face, and he didn't do nothing. But I'm uh, July 30th, I'll show you guys. <laughs> um, how's your preparation for the fight been so far? It's been going great, it's been going amazing. I'm, uh, our, our coaches are coming in tomorrow. I I'm just excited, I'm just super, super, I can't wait any longer. Y you're gonna see, you're gonna see July 30th. Um, make sure you get your pay-per-view and watch it live, watch us live. Yeah. So your opponent, he says that he's had uh, five uh, fights before. Um, what do you think of his ability? Um, I mean, he's, he's, he's good, don't get me wrong. You know, I, I told him already too, I have, I have respect for his boxing background, but I don't have respect for him. You know, he, I know he's done boxing, I know he's golden gloves, but he, he's never been in a ring with someone like me. Once he feels 10% of his Yemeni power, he's gonna taste the Asid, he's gonna taste the Halba, the Sahaw, and he's, he's gonna, he's gonna be gone, I'm telling you. So in the face-to-face, -face, there were a few bits um, where you guys started to make a few bets with each other. Yeah. Like they were flying all over the place. One of them was that you would give him your YouTube channel if you lost. He said that he'd get a tattoo of you. Then you decided to bet each other's purse. Is there any bets that, that stick or are they all of them? Yet? All of them, literally. Because he got a tattoo, he thinks he's gangster because he got a tattoo and no earrings. So I told him, you know, I, I did what Jake Paul did. You know what he said to his opponent, Tower Rolly. If I win, when I win. He's gonna have to get a tattoo. And you heard him, he said yes, and his purse. So I'm gonna take his money, and he's gonna get a tattoo of me. So you, you heard it on camera, so hopefully he, he's a man of his words and he, and he does it. So you're no stranger to the big show. I mean, you fought before, right? Um, but there's been a bit of blood, bad blood between you and your ex-manager um, regarding money situations and things like that. He's also come out and claimed that previous fight was rigged. How do you respond to things like that? I mean, you know, he, he's a clown, you know what I'm saying? They're in the circus. And you know, I'm not a clown, I'm not gonna enter that circus. You know what I'm saying? It's just when you get exposed, you, you know, him, he's stealing from multiple people, not just for me, from plenty of other artists. He has nothing else to say but to try to make me look bad. But you know, the, the people, you know, Allah knows the truth, I know the truth, and that's all that matters. We're gonna see how real this fight is, and that's all that matters to me. You know, I'm gonna take out my talent and, and show what I can do on July 30th. And uh, on July 30th, do you have a walkout song prepared? Yeah, I do actually, yeah. You're gonna see, you're gonna have to uh, buy the pay-per-view to see it. <laughs> and, um, look, I'm assuming that you're confident um, that you're gonna win. Are there any like, opponents that you are looking to next? Um, after, inshallah, after uh, I sleep this kid, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna spar with KSI, because he's, he's been talking a lot, a lot of crap. So after this, hopefully he can come to Dubai. You know, we, we're gonna offer him a first-class flight to come to Dubai, and we do it here at the TK gym with Tam Khan. If he doesn't, I'm, I'm gonna still pull up to London and go, go to his gym and I'm gonna spar with him there. Cool, well we'll certainly be there to watch that. I appreciate that. My Thank brother, you very much. Thank you. <laughs>